the work of God transform communities. You had a society where the magistrates would come and there would be no cases to be heard. Marriages were more secure. There was a happier spirit in the country. Many of us long to know more of the blessing of God. Perhaps we're tempted to try to whip something up. Perhaps we think there's some system that can guarantee God's blessing. It's an outpouring of the Spirit among God's people to change the normal life into a supernatural life. An individual and a collective, spirit-empowered hunger for God's Word and indeed looking through God's Word to God Himself. God's ordinary work of His Spirit magnified. Their lives were changed dramatically by the sovereign act of God, the work of the Holy Spirit. To read their sermons is to catch a glimpse of lightning over the hills. What must it have been then to stand under the thunder of God's holy word? The truth of the gospel that is preached comes with enormous conviction during awakening times. They were men of tremendous prayer. They wrestled with God. That's, that's what they had over us generally today more than anything else. When the Spirit of God was at work, people of all ages and stages of life became profoundly concerned about true religion, eternal things, and their own souls. They had been cavalier, been living frivolously, and they suddenly were gripped with a fear of God. As uh, there's a greater hunger for the Word, as the Word is opened, as people's eyes are opened, this then has a ripple effect. The miners were having prayer meetings down the pits. The lifestyles of men were being transformed beyond all recognition. We must have God's priorities at heart if we are to see the work of the Spirit in our midst. When God does great things in his church, Satan becomes more active. Nothing more incenses Satan than seeing Christians being invaded by the power of God, causing them to live in a new way. As so often, the light followed a time of darkness. At least, the darkness looked all the worse because of the light that followed. It's an ideal time for God to move. The glory goes to him because the church is weak. The nation is worldly. People need to know that this happens and can happen and that we're living for the most part at a very low level. You met God on Meadow and Moorland. You met him in the homes of the people. God seemed to be everywhere. What was that? Revival? Revival!